Once we reach Singapore, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. But we only have two missions to go, and this one in particular is pretty short. Quickly cloak past those two guys there. If they see you, it's not that important. They might make the rest of the enemies go hostile, but we're going to be cloaking through this entire area anyway. It just means you have to use a little bit of extra energy. Which again is fine, we have a lot of spare energy in this room. So if you have to do that, don't worry about it. Just make sure you don't die, basically. Let's run over here and grab this box. Clog past this robot as well. And just take this box with us. We want it over in this corner. Now we're going to do another one of these clips where we don't want to hold backwards the entire time. We want to clip into the wall here like this, but if I'm holding backwards, I'm going to fall down and this trick isn't going to work. So you want to clip into the wall, and then we want to run off in this direction instead. The reason we want this is because you can see there's nothing in the corner here. Well, we want cardboard boxes to spawn here, because uh, that's going to indicate to us that we've hit the correct loading trigger, otherwise we're not going to be able to finish this mission. So I'm going to run off here, and you should be able to see some cardboard boxes spawn in that area. So there you go, you can see that it worked. And now, it's a case of just knowing where we're going while we're out of bounds. It's really very easy to navigate yourself, but you want to do it a couple times so that you're actually comfortable with where you're going. Just run forward slightly until you fall down and you're in this hallway here, and then turn around and run in this direction. Eventually you're going to hit a wall, and you can tell that because I'm now I'm mashing sprint, but you can see that my stamina isn't going down, so I'm against a wall here. Just back off slightly, very very small amount, and turn to face between these two peaks. Once you're facing between these two, just run forward, and eventually we're going to hit a door. So there you go, you can see that we made it. It's really, really easy to navigate yourself through here, but you do need to know roughly where you're going. Just interact with that, and what we've done is basically skip an entire fight uh, with Namir, who, if you've played this game casually, you'll know is a boss in this area. And now we have pretty much nothing left to do in Singapore, it's just uh, pressing a couple of buttons and waiting around really. Once we press this button in the room I'm coming to now, uh, I think it's about 59 seconds until the end of the mission, something like that. So just press the button as quickly as you can and now yeah, we kind of have to wait. So it doesn't matter how quickly I do this, you might want to cloak past some of the the, uh, the crazies as we call them, because they can chase you up here, um, but it doesn't really matter, you just want to reach this button and then wait for Megan to stop talking. As soon as she says that, press the button, and now we wait. If they do chase you up here, by the way, rather than running around in circles trying to avoid them, they actually can't jump over this barrier. Um, sorry, just quickly, obviously press yes here when she asks, which is to the right, and yeah, they can't jump over this, so if they follow you over here, just jump here, and then have to go all the way around that, and then just jump back. You can just keep them going around if they do that. Anyway, that's the end of Singapore.